This video is brought to you by if it don't apply, then let it fly. But let's be honest here, folks. Y'all already know I'm a pro at making people mad. If you get mad, fuck you. I'll erase you here. Are you feeling down on your luck? Are you tired of working that dead-end job? You feeling like your life has no purpose? Are those bills starting to pile up? Then why not become an indie game developer? Now I know what you're thinking, but I'm just some guy who works in a chicken shack in Willacoochee, Georgia. I don't know anything about game development. Well, lucky for you, I put together this short guide on how to become the next big indie game developer. So follow these six easy steps and you too could be rolling in the big bucks. Step one, go to unity.3d.com and download the Unity 5 engine along with all the free assets. Step two, throw some random bullshit on the screen and call it a video game. I recommend making a generic exploration game with no real objective. Leave it up to the consumers to make their own fun in your world, cause fuck a flushed out game. Step number three, put your game on Steam's Greenlight program. Greenlight allows the community to vote on what game should appear on Steam's store. But before you upload your game, make sure that you have some cover art for your game. Most indie developers love to spend their entire budget on the cover art. The game looks like shit, but the cover art's cool, right? Step number four, now that your game is available on Steam's early access program, it's time to email free copies of your game to all the big YouTubers to play on their channel. Let's see, to PewDiePie, and uh, the subject, the subject is, you better read this. Um, let's see, dear PewDiePie, you better play my shit, nigga. Often indie developers, they don't have a marketing budget, so they lean on YouTubers and Twitch streamers to promote their games. Make sure to send your game to all the most obnoxious YouTubers who love to shout dumb shit all over the gameplay. The bigger the fag, the better. Step 5, now that you have big YouTubers playing your game, you're rich. So make sure to NEVER finish your game and ignore the community who purchased and supported your shit-tastic product. Often consumers will leave angry messages in the forums, but that's all background noise once you're rolling in the big bucks, right? Step number six. This is the last step, and it's honestly the most important, so listen up, buddy. Upon your game's release, make sure to actively search for what YouTubers are playing your games. If any content creator criticizes your game on YouTube, make sure to hit that little bitch with a copyright strike. Can't be having any honesty up in this motherfucker. So there you have it. Follow those six easy steps, and you too could be the next rich scumbag on Steam. Yeah.